Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Holy see the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you all well. It's a Friday and I know that many of you are ready uh, on the weekend. Many others are wrapping up at work, uh, preparing for the weekend, of course. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to apologize to you, uh, especially those who watched yesterday's video. Uh, we somehow made a mistake and mixed it up. Uh, an old video uh, that we did on March in March, uh, which we posted on the particular day, and uh, it was mixed up with uh, some stuff uh, that we ended up we that we wanted to post, and we ended up posting the wrong video. So you will kindly uh, have to forgive us there. Uh, it was not our intention to take you for granted. We never take people for granted. And those that have followed this channel would know that uh, we have always been striving to give you accurate information. So that was a video that we posted, but on the particular day we didn't use it and we ended up using another one, uh, which was uh, because we shoot more than three videos and then we review them and then we choose one to post. So yesterday, uh, as I wanted to post, about the prospect of a new election i wanted to talk about uh, in fact i spoke about the coming satak uh, summit which is going to be in zimbabwe, in zimbabwe in august and then somehow because these two videos were saved uh, in an almost similar manner then when we posted we ended up posting the wrong video would like to apologize for you you would have noted that uh, that video that was posted yesterday posted i mean spoke uh, directly about march uh, it was short during the such extraordinary summit where we spoke about what was on the agenda uh, it was refuting uh, that zimbabwe was on the agenda on the particular day and we did post the other video on the particular day you can check uh, on our channel and you will see the video that we ended up using on that particular day so i would like to really really apologize to you for wasting your data on what is actually stale news uh, and on what is actually was not our intention uh, to, 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 end, to end up giving to you. So I hope you are going to uh, forgive us for that. I have noted some comments from you. I have noted a number of uh, disappointments and it is not our wish to misinform you. It is not our wish to take you back in time. It is not our wish uh, to take you for granted it is not our wish to give you stale news and then fine uh, as I did say earlier in this video that our intention yesterday was to talk about the, the forthcoming summit and whether or not it is going to uh, discuss Zimbabwe and if Zimbabwe and fresh elections that many are calling for uh, to have a chance to be on the agenda of that summit uh, and what I can tell you is that Zimbabwe is now off the agenda of the SADAC in as far as elections are concerned. So right now, Zimbabwe will be taking over as the SADAC chairman that is in August. Uh, it will be taking over and President Emerson Nangako will be becoming the new chairperson of the SADAC. And what they will be discussing is something else which has got nothing to do with fresh elections in Zimbabwe. And the immediate issue about elections right now is the South African election, which is happening uh, later this month, that is on the 29th of May. And the SAT Observer, Election Observer mission has already been dispatched. It has already been accredited and they will be covering, the. they will be monitoring rather and observing the elections of South Africa and as the name aptly says, such election observation mission. So that is what they will be doing. And then they will issue their report. You will know that after Zimbabwe, there were elections in Swaziland. And then, and those in Swaziland were actually, according to uh, human rights groups in Swaziland, according to civil rights organizations, and according to the opposition in Swaziland, were even worse than what was happening in Zimbabwe. So there is no way that the same such which then passes the Swaziland election can then turn around and say Zimbabwe should hold its free and fair elections at a time that is stipulated by SADAC. So the issue of the Zimbabwean elections is off the agenda 
of both the SAC and the African Union. You may like us for that or you may hate us for that, as some have already called me a ZANU-PF uh, apologist, some have called me a ZANU-PF propagandist, but I would rather be called these names and then come 2028 I become vindicated than to lie to you as I have seen some people taking advantage of you because I believe that journalists uh, must always be ethically guided and the ethics say that we must always report the truth, even if the truth is not the most popular thing at that particular time. We will always stay on the path of the truth. I have never, since I began my journalism career, be, I've never been found wanting. I've never had to retract stories because they've been factually incorrect. I have never uh, lied to people. I will never lie to people. So this is my mandate, to tell you the truth, even if it means going against the grain uh, of what other journalists are reporting because we report in different ways we have different sources but usually my sources have never let me down you will remember that i've been consistent about the issue of any fresh elections in zimbabwe and i've always stated to you that zimbabwe is not on the agenda come such summits that have passed you've always realized even against uh the popularity that zimbabwe would not have been on the agenda because the SAT doesn't hide its uh, its meetings. The communiques are always uh, released in time for people to read themselves. So at the end of the day, you may wish, we all wish for a time where Zimbabwe is going to hold free and fair elections, where the will of the people is going to, respect, to be respected, where the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is going to be independent, where opposition politicians are allowed to campaign freely, where they are allowed to reach far and wide in the country where the police will stay out of politics, where every uh, military, part, every part of the military apparatus in the country stays out of politics and where people will not be intimidated based on who was in the war of the liberation and who was not. So at the end of the day, this is a wish that we all harbor, but it is something that has not happened and we're not going to lie to you then to try and please you or to give you a fake consolation that there is going to be an election when indeed there is not going to be any. So that is the reason why we will always tell you the truth. That is why we will always strive to go against the grain, as I have said, to tell you things as they are to report facts as they are so there is not going to be any a fresh election in zimbabwe the next election is going to be in 2028 and uh, it is now we need to focus not on these uh lies that there's going to be elections because we are going to be diverted from the real issues on the ground that is the issue of making our country work and also the issue of making sure that the next election does not bring about another disputed uh, result so how do we do that we do that by making sure that we enforce or we force government to abide by the electoral act but also to make sure that the electoral reforms that we need are implemented and how do we do that we do that through parliament we do, through, we do that through civil society we do that through political parties that we are members of without having to be focusing on a non-event that is the fresh elections that are being uh, parroted by a number of online media houses, by a number of journalists who claim that they have evidence that there's going to be any fresh elections. There is not going to be any fresh election in Zimbabwe. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it, but also do not shy away from expressing your disappointment, from sh telling us your views, from uh, engaging on the discourse that we have here. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy your weekend.